told me go hard, so I go hard, go hard like a cop, uh, ride like a star. Uh, uh, little bitch. Uh, he told me go hard, so I go hard, go hard like a cop, ride like a star, get higher than Mars. Oh God, look. He told me go hard, so I go hard, go hard like a rock. Hey, what's going on, man? It's your girl Tampa Mystic, and we are live on the industry's most wanted podcast. Your industry's most wanted. And I heard that we got Maya the plug in the building. What's going on, beautiful? How are you? You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and bring that mic over. I want to make sure that they can hear you real good because I need that official good, baby. introduction. You, you're looking all beautiful and stuff. Thank you know what I'm saying? Um, introduce yourself. How y'all doing? My name is Amaya the motherfucking plug. Please Might believe it. No plug, but I am the plug, baby. And I mean that <laughs> Exactly. Um, you from Atlanta? No, I'm from Chicago originally. Okay. I moved here when I was like 13. Okay. So you you've been here. I mean, I I know you're still young, but so you but you've been here for a little minute. Yeah, a little minute. You know what I'm saying? Um, what was that transition like for you? Um, it was different, especially being in like middle school, like, yeah, where people were just like kind of find themselves. Everybody was. It's different. tough. Yeah. It was definitely tough. I was tall and from Chicago, so everybody just felt the need to try me a little bit. <laughs> Man, please. <laughs> <laughs> other than that, um, I'm still friends with a lot of people from middle school and high school. Okay. So really, I love Atlanta. That's yeah, A lot of family dope. here, for sure. So did you move out here? Family said, you know, we're going to Atlanta. Yeah, my mom wanted to show some different things to me and my brother. She didn't want us to grow up in Chicago the way, you know what yeah. I'm saying, she's seen it. So she just wants to show us a different life, which I always appreciate it. No, nah, sure. absolutely. Shout out to your mom, man, for you know, sure. for putting you guys right. in a different environment. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Mom Dukes. <laughs> because, you know, the thing about kids is, especially nowadays with uh, social media and stuff, people, kids are so impressionable. Yes. They're influenced by their surroundings. People can really become products of their environment. So it's like, mm-hmm. you know, if you had the opportunity to put your, your child in a better situation, do it. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. Like, Not to mention Atlanta's pretty cool, man. Like I love this city. I love Atlanta, but <laughs> actually I grew up in Gwinnett, so in Lawrenceville. I went to Central Gwinnett. Did so, you? Yeah. Okay, so that's where I live at now is in Lawrenceville. I'm from Tampa, Florida, but I've been here since twenty thirteen and I've been in Gwinnett since I moved here. Shout out to yeah. Northside. <laughs> yes, most definitely. That's really dope. So um why music? Why music? That's a good question. Um I didn't have, like, a lot of things in life, like, because we moved around a lot, yeah. so it was always, like, you know what I'm saying, maybe a year here, maybe a year right. or two here. I've always had the music, though. Yeah. Um, also, like, when I just be here, we traveled a lot, so, like, when we were traveling, like, six to eight hours, you know what I'm saying, all I got is my music, and yeah. at the time, I wasn't really, like, a like watching videos, music videos and stuff like that was like Disney Channel, but the music I'm hearing. Right, understood, yeah. So I'm like asking my mom, like, <laughs> do female rappers like dress like guys or something? Like, are they all like right. dykes and shit? The first time I seen Lil' Kim and that bitch was sexy, I'm like, okay, like oh, I can do that. I can, what? Yes. I can definitely do that. That bitch was bad and nah, she popping her real. shit, telling yes. me to suck her dick and looking like a bad bitch while doing it. I want to do that. No, absolutely. I do that. Because <laughs> I think as a female rapper, you have to make music that's going to appeal to men as well. Exactly. And that's something that I feel like I focused on in my project. Yeah. Is trying to make music for everybody not yeah. just women not just men because you know what i'm saying everybody's been saying like oh so many female rappers talk about they pussy I, 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 if i got good pussy i'm gonna talk about no, it shout out plug <laughs> special but you know like i wanted to make it something for everybody that everybody can feel comfortable listening absolutely to with. right because slick a man's not gonna ride around singing i got good pussy exactly. <laughs> he, he wants to get the good pussy but he ain't you know what i'm saying so it's like you got to think about you can put that kind of music out, but you also want to have something that the fellas are going to exactly. ride to. You know what I'm saying? Something for the strip clubs. Exactly. Something for the smokers. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I like like a, focus on all those categories in my project. Right. What What was the first project that you put out? This, my first project just dropped um, July 1st. Okay. Um, Melanin C. Nygma. Yes. It abbreviates to me because it kind of like... I'm just giving literally me the yeah. whole project. You're pouring from, yourself into yeah, it. Every aspect of me. I have a couple of different personalities. You got the bad bitch. You got the plug. Yes. You got Nina Ross. So, you, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I gave all of that in my project. Um, it was my first time taking the time and 
disciplining myself to actually go in the studio every week and record my music and go back and perfect it. Like, like damn it, every song got at least six different takes on it. Like, cause I always want to go back and change something, make sure it sounds just good. Absolutely. Like, you know so when you put it out to the world, you want to make sure that you gave them your best piece of work. Yeah, the best I could do. Because once it's out there, it's out there. It's I don't care there. if you take it down. Somebody <laughs> don't hurt it. Somebody <laughs> heard it. Somebody, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people been fucking with it. Yeah. So it took me like nine months to work on that project. I was just going to sure. ask you that. So take us through that nine month journey. What was it like for you working on this project? Because it sounds like it's very personal to you. It was very, it is very personal to me. Um, it started because I, the first, um, the single that I'm pushing is Double Back, which is the first song on the project. Yeah. And I made the first half of that song in 2019. And so I didn't finish it until the end of last year. Okay. And I felt like it was because I know I needed a little bit more experience in making my music and life and stuff like that to yeah. share my story a little bit. So I did take a break from music for a couple of years. And then when I came back, you can hear it in the second half of the song, like, Oh yeah, she she went somewhere. She I actually know that's went, right. So found some money and she that bitch came popped, with it. You know what I'm saying? Popping her <laughs> shit. And now she really focused and she on that. So that's why I was really my goal in that song is to show like you know what I'm saying. I had took a little time. Yeah, came back and this is the type of shit that I'm on for the rest of the project. Um, I started um, recording the project and I want to say October of last year. Yeah, and I put it out in July and. It was really is just like my friends and my family that I have here in Atlanta that encourages me and love that is always helping me and very resourceful for me. So that's really what kept me going and making sure I put it out there because everybody was on my ass about it. Like, I know that's song? right. <laughs> There's another project where you where you performing at. I'm like, OK, I got to give these people something. Absolutely. <laughs> and that feels good too, though, that people really have your best interest they want to see you yeah. win they want and to see you work you can tell the difference between genuine love and just like you know what i'm saying just want to support just because they feel like they have to absolutely I feel like a lot of my love is genuine like, no nah, for real like they got me in the back of their mind like i want to hear something from my ass. exactly because they know you the plug period slick <laughs> <laughs> you know and it's a it's, it's as we get older our circle becomes smaller not everybody's intended to go on your journey with you, and that's okay. You know what I'm saying? You got to be mindful. Who you got with you today? It's my friend, Day. Yes. Hi, I'm beautiful. Yeah. You got to have a ride or die. I got them all. I got you got to. Show. You know what I'm saying? Somebody yeah, that's gonna, not going to. Right. <laughs> and it's hard to find that type of genuine loyalty. There's people that we probably both have thought that, oh, they're going to be there to the end. Mm -hmm. But where are they at now? <laughs> it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, we about our business. It ain't personal. It's all, it's, it's all business. You know what I'm all saying? Business. Keep it moving. Um, where do you want to go with your music? Um, I don't know. I know that I want to go far. All I know is that when I close my eyes, my go-to place, you know, people like go to a beach in your Yeah, 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 yeah. Mine is on stage. My name in pink lights. And yeah, I love that. in front of people. So I just know I just... I want to be seen yeah. <laughs> and help other young girls get through life because this shit is hard. And I feel like it's hard. To, uh, my What I'm trying to focus on is learning how to give the advice. You yes. know what I'm saying? Because people have the knowledge. Some, they don't know how to apply it. Or, yeah. you know what I'm saying, teach somebody else like how to do it if they weren't really good at it, even though they know, you know what I'm saying? Right. The words, the wisdom and shit like that, they just weren't have the ability to apply it absolutely don't know how to share it and shit so i want to focus on being able to share the message with other females and shit like that absolutely sure. and by you just sharing your personal journey that's going to help people mm -hmm. I agree. because we all go through struggles in life some people greater struggles than others mm -hmm. we can't skip the struggle at all but by being transparent and being okay with sharing your journey, just that alone is going to help people. Because then other young women or young men are going to be like, dang, I'm not the only one who's went through this. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's important you're a public figure. Yes. You know, you got to be transparent. You know, of course, we don't want to give them too much. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you want to give them enough to let them know, hey, I'm human too. Exactly. I've been through that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So besides music, you know, what other passions are you pursuing? I have my cannabis brand plugged in the brand. I've been working on that since I need like to shop with you. 2017 <laughs> for sure. Um, I have, so I just started um, working on my packaging for Myler's, which is with brand can like the flower itself. Yeah. But 
prior to that, I have like the the tools to make sure you're rolling the best backwoods ever, best lease whatever. She I got my blessed rollers. with me with a nice package. Period. <laughs> you got the roller in there, you got the glue in there, and then um, if you go on my YouTube, it's a video to teach you how to use everything and stuff like that because people are always struggling with how to use the fucking roller. <laughs> Yo, listen, let's just talk about that for a second. That is fire thank you i don't know anybody that's done that <laughs> like okay they'll give you the product but right. they don't tell you how to use it at all. like you got a whole video like an instructional video yes <laughs> and I'm polite that's telling you how to do it it's because step step. no shade to the fellas but it's because she's a woman women think deep like that yeah, they do you know what i'm saying men be very surface with stuff here you go boom exactly. okay that's cool but what do i do with it you know what i'm saying i love that and then my, my debut, girl you um my like first thing that I dropped in my brand, it was a smoke kit, which is a smell proof keychain. It comes with the scissors and a leaf, like a little towel to dry off your leaves. Yeah. And then um a glass filter and then it's like a little pocket area where you can hold your weed in is you may up to a seven smell proof carrier, whatever. If you just look at it because it's kind of like an eye catcher like is that a grenade you have fire yeah, you don't thought of all of it for sure. exactly because if someone sees that you're like they're going to automatically inquire what is that why do you have a grenade yeah what <laughs> what, what, what is that you know what i'm saying hey i'm glad that you asked <laughs> i'm glad you asked let's talk about it <laughs> that is dope so you know how did that come about for you honestly the way my just be working i just be trying to solve problems yeah. and when i came up with the, the that product it was i was tired of people carrying around the big ass scissors right. and wasting my paper towels in my house just to dry off some backwoods right. like i gotta wipe my hands nah, off for real. What, what are we doing you yeah know what I'm saying? even though i know this is necessary i get high too baby so i get it <laughs> so let me just go ahead and find a medium i'm just tired of seeing people pulling out sandwich bags out yeah. their pockets and stuff so let's make it a little you know what I'm saying? Bring it all together. Absolutely. Make it an aesthetic. It's, it's, there you go. A lot of people don't understand that. It's a, yeah. And it's a, I mean, a major growing business. Got to. It's you know what I'm saying? Billion. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And so people are still scared to step into it because of, you know what I'm saying? It being illegal in other states, but you can do so like I other things with the cannabis I started with, I didn't start with cannabis I absolutely. didn't start with flower I started with the product for it right and built my brand from there so it's, it's not just about the cannabis itself either I grew up in a household where my dad turned the entire addict and maybe I should I'm incriminating him right now <laughs> But you get where I'm yeah, going. Period. So it's been a part of me since I was little. And my dad used to make his own wine. So, you know, like in my household, stuff like that was acceptable. Yeah, and it still yeah. is. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. but, you know, there's people out here that, you know, are just, I think it's the lack of knowledge, them not knowing. That's all it is. Because I have anxiety. If I don't smoke, I'm like a different person. Huh. Seriously. <laughs> like I'm a different person. I'm not. Lamaya that day. <laughs> like the flip the switch i'm like yeah let me go ahead and calm my nerves and like i can't fall asleep at night so it's like that's what helps just you know relax me and puts me where i need to be so i can actually get sleep you know what that i'm saying insane. most definitely so with that being said are you looking to mesh the brands as far as you know the cannabis and you know what you're doing musically because obviously they go hand in hand together they obviously do go hand in hand and then that's where like you know what i'm saying i've been doing working at both my music and my brand for a couple years now yeah it's it's been I'm very strategic so I've been planning these way before I like start putting my foot in the door with it as well yeah so at first it didn't make sense to a lot of people like how are you gonna do music how are you gonna focus on a brand how you, you know what I'm saying x y and z but pay attention plugged in the brand she making it happen it's plugged in the brand yeah I'm the plug. she the plug like, what you mean all I do is get high all <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying all I do is listen to good music I you know what I'm people tend to, you know what I'm saying, say that you can tell my mood off of the music that yeah, I Yeah, there you go. The playlist I got planned for the day. If you want to know how Maya feeling, just listen to the music she What playing. is she listening to? Yeah, and it doesn't even have to just be my music. You know, feel me? Just other artists. Like, yeah. How's she feeling today? So it's like, it just go hand in hand. What, what blood am I smoking to today? So people just... Once they see it, it just makes a little bit more sense. Absolutely. And you really do project a super dope positive vibe thank you like you well. really really do like i don't know a lot of these females out here are on something i don't know what they on <laughs> but i'm just like i'm the type of person i'm like i try to love on everybody 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to just love on everybody. We can't, but I want to. Mm -hmm. And I love that, you know, you and Day, you know, just (laughs) came in here with the beautiful, positive vibes. And that's what it's all about because there's so much ugliness in the world right now. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to be able to project them positive vibes to your music. I am. And I'm going to bring all the females that's ready to go with me. Yes, absolutely. So shout out to Gambino. Love him. I appreciate him. That man is making it happen for me. Yes, like I've I always got to pay homage to him. I've known Gambino for probably 12 years now. When right. I first moved here to ATL, I was doing a lot of showcases and he used to come through just to show love and support and I was like, man, like I I didn't even know him before I moved here and for him to just pull up and show me love just meant a lot to yeah, me. Yeah, for sure. And then fast forward now, like we still do so much business together and and I'm so glad that you connected with him because yeah. he's one of the few people out here that I've met that's really genuinely about their business. I, and it's not even, I don't think that it's that for sure that I like him because he is about his business. But I think that he like genuinely likes my music yeah. and me as a person. And that's what makes our relationship just like a little bit better than right. anybody else. Me putting money in their pocket to help me push anything. He is like you know really what likes what you got attention. going on. Yes, and I appreciate that for sure. Shout out to T Hub for introducing <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> and I can actually I can co-sign that because again I've known Gambino for probably twelve years and I can say that he will not work with someone if he doesn't believe in what they got going on. Yeah. I know that for sure. And yeah. anytime he sends some of my way, it's always like the same type of vibe, mm-hmm. good vibes, good music. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, that's, you know, he's just got an ear he for, does. he really I does. Agree. Like he, the streets A and R, you know what I'm saying? Like he <laughs> really sure. understands this music business. So, um, how's the project doing? Um, since it's gotten into Gambino's hands, it's doing well, especially my single Double Back. Um, we've been pushing that in the clubs and on Spotify playlists and stuff like that. And I got it on the World Star Hip Hop playlist as well. Nice. Recently. So it's been doing numbers for sure. I've watched it jump in a crazy way. I didn't expect it to. I know that's right. And that's what you got to do. You have to get your music on the playlist. For sure. That's so important as an artist because, like, you as an artist can only do so much. Mm -hmm. So it's like you got to depend on these playlists to get your really music out there to the world. And artists always wonder how they make their money back in this shit. It's literally getting on playlists and make sure it's getting streamed. And getting outside is the content. People like seeing you outside and doing things and around other people. You don't, it, it really don't even be costing that much to just step outside and get somebody to flick you up and people just absolutely eat it up <laughs> you're right like the last interview i had i he and i had the same discussion like as an artist you have to nowadays you have to also be a content creator yes because people want to see what you got going on yes they want to know they want to your your fans want to get personal with you mm-hmm. One of my most viewed reels on my Instagram is me talking about my day, like throughout the day. There you ready go. For a video shoot, you know, the little voiceover. Uh-uh-uh. They <laughs> yeah, <push it> <laughs> they do, and and that's what I've had to learn is like not just post work related stuff all the time. Exactly. Sometimes you got to get a little personal. Mm-hmm. Um, so with that being said, you know, tell tell everybody that's tuned in checking this out. Give them one thing about Maya to plug that they don't know. If you don't mind sharing. <laughs> Let them in. (laughs) One thing about me that y'all don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Like I said in my last interview, I'm kind of an open book. Like, ask me a question and you, baby, you should get the real answer. Um, What does it take for someone, you know, to get close to you? Like, and, and it could be on a personal level. It could be on a business level. Word of mouth. Okay. It's all about relationships and respect. Yeah. So most of my friends and the people that I know, I met them through someone else or right. in person first. Like I just seen them like you're a cool person. What's your name? Right. You know there you go. Ten years in now type shit. No, nah, for real. Like, I, I'm real big on energies and stuff like me that. Me too. So I don't keep the fakeness around me. Bitches get cut off every day. Nah, like for shit. real. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because one thing about energy is it cannot be, de- you can transfer it, but you can't destroy it. Exactly. So you around someone with negative energy, they're going to transfer it to you. And we, we ain't playing with that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got time for that. Um, What's your favorite food to eat? My favorite food is in the past year it's been a lobster i've been fucking okay. some lobsters like, oh god bougie bitch say too much to me my standards <laughs> i know that's right most definitely um i ain't gonna get too personal but what do you like to do when you're not doing music 
if I'm not doing music, I'm working. Like, yeah. I'm about my business for real. I be trying to find time to have fun because even when I'm going outside, I'm going outside to network. Right. Usually someone's inviting me out. So, you know what I'm saying? I, it, the look of it and really that's it. I'm, I need a vacation when I really do. No, you do. Absolutely. <laughs> you guys start planning that. Go sure. get your little vacation popping. Like, I'd be working. like. <laughs> but you I have to take time for yourself sometimes. I agree. You really, really have to, like, sometimes just put the work to the side, even if it's just for a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know I, people be taking two-week vacations. I can't do that. I won't do that. <laughs> I can't. Like, and, and a lot of times, if I go out of town on business, I'll go do what I got to do, and I come right back. Right back. I am not lingering around for days afterwards. I go handle my business and I right. come back. I ain't really trying to vacation. <laughs> I buy my mama and my daddy a house. And there you go. Do they live here in the Atlanta area? Um, No, my mom stays in Savannah. My dad stays okay. in Florida. Really? Okay. Um, what part of Florida? Jacksonville. Duval. <laughs> and your mom's in the pot, right? Yeah, for okay. Sure. That's really dope. Are they real supportive of your music? They are. Um. My dad is definitely one of my biggest fans. That's like just fire. like on some consumer type fan yeah. shit. And I fuck with that. He always wanna make sure I'm sending him the music. <laughs> and ask for the same song twice and shit. Um, my mom, she gives me feedback and I feel like she actually does like listen to the music and hear what I'm saying and then she like you know what I'm saying she hears the stories like she knows my life. So she right. was able to connect with it and actually enjoy it too and I, that's how I know she actually liked it because she sat there. And she listened knew to it. the yeah, words exactly. She that lets you know when you, they are fan because they actually know the words exactly. to your music. She can make connections in her head, like, "Oh, I remember when you did that." Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I appreciate that for sure. How hard is uh, work life balance for you? Because you do work a lot, but you got to take time for the fam and friends. Like, is is it tough for you? Um. No, not really, because I'm big on my relationships first, but yeah. I'm also big on people being resourceful. Right. So everybody plays a role. Everybody does their due diligence. Yeah. And, you know, if you're not somebody that, like, if you're just, like, really just there for the energy, my friend, been there for a long time and shit like that, I definitely find time to make time for them, like, sometimes for sure, hang out, go eat food at my brother's house or some shit, go out to dinner. Yeah. Definitely, but... Everybody is like got an important role in my life for sure. Absolutely. People have to be an asset, not a liability. Exactly. It has to make sense for the new year around you because, like you said, you're time. about your business. Mm -hmm. Period. Uh, what do you got in store for us? You know, like you just put this project out. I did. You know, we'll say, you know, throughout the rest of this year, we're winding down 2022. What else can we expect from you? I'm definitely still pushing my project. That's something that, if I don't know nothing else, it is okay to push a project or a single for more than a year, more yes. than a couple months. You feel me? Because I, I think it was Fetty Wap, like, Trap Queen. Yes. It took him, like, it went, it didn't go viral until, like, three years after. Absolutely you correct. You feel me? It's shit like that. Like, even with Doja Cat and the, um, that one song, Streets. Right. That, that was, like, from 2019, then it, pop off to last year on TikTok. Absolutely. I got patience. I'm away. <laughs> <laughs> and I like making, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't like rush music. I like good music. So I'm going to take my time with it. And you can only get good music with time and experience. So I'm going to live life and be pushing this project that I just pushed, pushed out and and you know what I'm saying? See where it goes from there. Absolutely. Because, you know, until the whole world has heard it, it's still a new record. Exactly. You know, like, you know, sometimes artists are like, oh, man, I, I don't hurt. tired of hearing it. But yeah. But they haven't heard it yet. The world hasn't heard it yet. Exactly. And not to say that you can't drop other music on the in-between time, yeah. but whatever that main song is that you believe in, you got to ride that thing till the wheels fall oh, off. God. Keep pushing it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Have you put any recent visuals out? Um, I haven't put out any yet but i have recorded okay um, a video for a late night uh, vibe with t hood so that's definitely dope. excited to see how that turns out. i ain't seen it yet yo so. you haven't seen it yet yeah. boy that's probably one of the hardest things is being an artist waiting for that video waiting. edit to come back <laughs> like i can't wait to see it who shot the visual for you um classic okay classic lp he is a great videographer i love his work so that's really what made me go ahead and work with him for real i've been around him and watching him work with other artists that i hang out with and shit like that and so like i usually stick with the same people that i shoot right. with but i wanted to add him to the, to the book for sure absolutely because every videographer is going to have a little bit different way that they actually you know can bring your your story to life exactly you know so what about engineering wise who's working on your music for you um well 
he is that's my brother i grew up with him since i was like 11 um he went to school for engineering okay and he built a whole fucking studio in his basement He's that's what i'm talking like about four or five years now and that's who i record with i'm most comfortable with but i am trying to step out my comfort zone and start recording with more people for yeah. sure but that's my main engineer he, made sure he, he, you know, what I'm saying, He's helping me with my sound, giving me good feedback while I'm in the studio and shit. And that's something I appreciate. Not just somebody just there to record and go. Right, absolutely. Engineers, you have to be tapped in with these artists, and that's dope that you have somebody that actually provides you with feedback. Say, sure. nah, sis, go ahead and re-record that, or maybe you should try saying it like this, or mm -hmm. do your ad libs this way. You know, you gotta have someone that's gonna give you that feedback, but you gotta be able to take it at the same time. He does that. A lot of artists out here don't want to take that constructive criticism. Oh, and I love it. <laughs> I appreciate it. That's what's going to make you a bigger artist. For sure. Period. This is like real constructive criticism. Right. You know what I'm There's saying? some people that just be hating. Sure. Slick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, trolling, all that. You know, I, it's like the more that we grow in life, the more we realize no matter how good you're doing, somebody's always going to have something negative to say. Definitely. Period. So it's like, you might as well just do you. Mm -hmm. No matter what you're doing, somebody's going to say something. Yeah. Gladly, I don't really care about it. <laughs> no, we don't give a fuck about none of that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's great like that. Um, where can people keep up with you, follow you, support the movement? Please, please, please follow me on Instagram at Maya the Plug, M A I A D A Plug with two G's. There you go. Most definitely. Is Maya the government? Um, La Maya is my government. Okay. Very close. There you yes. go. So that's a part of it. So you keeping it really true to yourself. Definitely. Yeah. I um, love I try that. My best to show. You got a lot of people supporting you, showing you love. Who you want to shout out to? <laughs> Shout out to my parents for sure because I wouldn't be here without them. Yeah. Shout out to my baddies in cannabis because those bitches make it happen for me. Shout out to Frieza and everybody on the team. And definitely shout out to T Hood and Gambino because they're making my music dreams happen. Yes, absolutely. And if people want to shop with you, how do they do that? You have a um, website or yes, plugged in the brand. So my the plug is not too proper, but when you go on the business side, that's proper. So you got plugged in the brand, P L U G G D in the brand dot com. And you can find me on Instagram at that and my um my the plug dot com too to check me out, my bio and everything. If you want to learn about me, keep up with my music, my videos and my shows and stuff like that as well. Yeah. That's dope. Last but not least, we are live on the industry's most wanted podcast. Yes. We got Maya the plug in the building. Let's go. Out here representing for the ladies for show. Sure. Yeah, I appreciate you for having me. Man, it's a pleasure to have you here, but this is what I need you to do. You got to let the whole world know what makes Maya the plug the industry's most wanted. Listen, Maya the plug is the industry's most wanted because, like I said before, I might not be your plug, but I am the plug, baby. And that's just that one on that one <laughs> just this, that on that yeah, period yeah. right <laughs> ask about me <laughs> <laughs> straight like that it was such a pleasure to have you here i definitely want to shop thank with you. you i definitely want to support what you got going on thank you so much for being here today thank you absolutely yes we up out of here y'all